Rastafari. Welcome to Rastafari Rising. Um, I am, I'm your host today with Rast Nye, which will be coming on a little bit later on. Um, yeah, our topic today will be a little um, will be on homosexuality and lesbianism. Yeah, up on the black race, African race, you know. Um, but before we go into that, go any further, I want to read uh, um, some words from His Imperial Majesty, you know. And um, that's how we normally do it, you know. Words, sound, and power, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Responsibility. Man desires many things, but, is, but it is the individual's duty and responsibility to desire the proper things. A noble failure may be of more value than a petty success. Anyone who makes the wrong choices will be a burden, not only to himself, but to future generations. Though life is short, one should live and act in such a way that his achievements will bring him and his country a good name forever. If he does not use his training for, for worthy hands, he will be an enemy to himself and an obstacle to others. He will indeed be sick while supposedly healthy and dead while still alive. The obligation to improve oneself does not cease simply because one has a regular job. Simply watching others, other people's achievements is a characteristic of a lazy man. There is no person in this world who is free from life's responsibility. One who does not contribute to his community and the, communi and the coming generation remains to be a burden to his society and an object of ridicule to outside observers. It is not enough for the children of Ethiopia to be re recipients of education. They should never forget that the responsibility for passing, passing on this knowledge to others and of handing it over to the next generation rests on them. In, if the wealth of a person cannot be for the general welfare, that would he, what would he gain for himself and his offspring but grudge and hatred? To place all responsibility upon the shoulders of one individual while others sit idly by and seek only to criticize and find fault is to act contrary to the movement for the progress and advancement of the country, Africa. A qualified man with vision, unmoved by daily selfish interests, will be led to right decision by his conscience. A man, a man who knows from whence he comes and where he is going will cooperate with his fellow human beings. He will not be satisfied with merely doing his ordinary duties, but will inspire others by his good example. Records of the past reveal great achievements of our forefathers. It is up to us to try to emulate them, for they will be standing in judgment of us. Those that have fallen on the battlefield have sacrificed themselves so that our future would be more secure. And we, the living, have the responsibility of living up to the sacrifice that they have made. To those who contribute willingly, who in sweat and toil work for the good of the nation, with little thought of self, to them will much be given, even the governing of the land. Last but not least, each man must repay what he has received from his country, Africa. That's the far right. Yes, yeah, so may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in nice I told you. Rastafari, last year the first. Father, it is you that has brought us here today to deal with this issue. And I pray that you guide us and give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so that we could bring forth the message in the right and proper way. Yes, Father. Rasamlak, as a matter of fact, Rasamlak is in the, the, the booth today, so <laughs> technical booth. So, you know, just want you to know if you don't see him. Rastafari, it's last year.
Rastafari Selassie. Yes, you know. I just want to say that, um, once again, for those who don't know, my name is Alfonso Walker, or otherwise known as Ayafonso. And I'm also a member of the One Band here in Hartford, Connecticut. You know, so just a, a short introduction of myself. Um, I was inspired by my conscience, you know, to come and, you know, just come and let the world know what's going on and in my mind and, and to make a stand against the things that are not right and are destroying the world and the people and our nations, you know, so my conscience have moved me and I can't sit down any longer. So whenever my conscience moves me, that's when I move, you know, so. And the issue today, as we say, is homosexuality in our race, you see, because it's really distracting our people a lot. And as a man who loves God, loves the Creator, I can't sit by and watch this thing being pushed and, and, and allow this thing to be pushed on me, you see. Because we know that God ways come first. You see, and if, if all of us have understanding and knowledge and wisdom in, through all creation in order to proceed life and in order for life to keep going on, it have to be opposite sex going together in order to create life. Even in the flowers, in everything. You see? So I just want to, we just want to go and speak and look, speak on this a little further, me and brother now here, you know, because we find it a burning issue amongst ourselves, our, our, our people, and it's growing, and we've never seen it like this before, and it's just growing out of proportion. And I just want to say, as his mind say, man desires many things, but it is the individual's duty and responsibility to desire the proper things. You see, we could desire a lot of things, but it's our duty to desire the proper things in life. You know, because as I was saying earlier, in, in my being, in my being, I don't need to read a Bible, because most people say, boy, the Bible said this and the Bible said that. So they're trying to say it's the Bible that make you speak against the things that is not right. Yeah, but these say. things is coming from within I and I, because I and I don't read too much Bible. You see, supposed yeah, we're so supposed to live these things and from living and, and, you know, it's in your makeup, it's in your genes, it's in your DNA, you see, but when a man is born and his mind wants to, somebody tell you that you can be anything you want to be, that time you're already a man, mm 